tell them, right? So that's 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 journalism right there. I mean, if you want to really boil it down. Um, I'm just going to refer to my notes here. Um, the other thing is, you know, if you if you're not too concerned about making a boatload of money, but uh, you're interested in having a fulfilling career, in which, um, and you know, as, as cheesy as it may sound, you know, pursuing the truth. Uh, you know, we, we hear you know words like fair and balanced and, and the truth and, and things like that. And, and really, uh, when when you're uh, when you're doing journalism, you know, you're not you don't owe your allegiance to anybody except for the public, except for your readership. And so it's a, it's a, it's a big responsibility. Um, but like I said, it's a, it's a fulfilling one. Um, and, and you heard me talk to Cindy about, uh, I, I, I call PR the dark side because, um, and we sometimes refer to it as that because if you're working for, if you're in public relations, you owe your allegiance to whoever is paying you. In other words, if you work for a school district, that's, that's who you are, um, you're spinning things so that the school district always comes out looking, uh, you know, looking positive, uh, um, a hospital or a business, whatever. That's, that's public relations. And you can get into that. That can be a career for you. Uh, you can start off in journalism. A lot of people do this. A lot of people start off in journalism and then move to PR because there's more money in it. And that's, that's a decision, you know, that, that everybody has to make personally. Um, but, um, and th this, you know, there's been a lot of changes in the, in the industry, and I just wanted to talk quickly about that. Um, but the thing, the thing that I always tell myself is, um, you know, because we've had layoffs and, and uh, a lot of uh, consolidation and things like that. I've seen a lot of that both uh, in my office and, you know, all around the country. But the thing that I always, I always tell myself is the news doesn't report itself. There's always going to be a need for somebody to report the news. So there's always going to be a need for somebody like me, for somebody like you guys. So that's that's kind of what keeps me going. Um, I remember, I, and I, I can tell you, I can almost pinpoint for you, or for me at least, when everything changed as far as going from uh, moving to this this digital age that we're in that we're in right now. Um, it was. Uh, well, let me back up for just a second. Back when I was in journalism school, I'd say in the mid '90s, one of my professors said to me, said to us, he said, "Someday, everything is." Um, oh, my God. oh, she's got my phone. He said, "I was going to use my phone as a prop." He said, "Everything is going to get beamed down to uh, to these little devices that we're going to have." I don't think anybody had cell phones back then. He's like, "You're going to get all your news in this in this little device, you know." And uh, we were like, "That's crazy, man." And uh, I mean, look where we are now, you know. Um, so that was like back in the mid '90s. But then, if you go forward about a decade, um, it was a, it was a case that I was working on, March of tw 2006. It was a murder suicide in the city. A uh, man and a woman were driving. They stopped at some train tracks. Actually, just about as they were on the train tracks, he killed her and then killed himself. Um, I was in the office and heading out. I was out the. I was practically out the door, and uh, a coworker stopped me, and she said. When you get out there, give me a call. I said, well, why am I going to call you? She goes, tell me what you see. I said, I'm not going to know what I see right off the bat. She goes, just call me. And see, for me, that was foreign because the way you did it was you got out to the scene, you started taking notes, just like the, you know, the notebook. This is, this is a reporter's notebook, and we still use them to this day. Um, but you started taking notes. You started finding maybe people who saw what happened, you, you know, um, waited for an official word from, say, like the police chief or somebody. You gathered all that information up, you took it back to the office, and you sat down at your computer, and you, and you wrote your story. Now it's like every tiny little morsel of information, that's what people are, are that's what people want. That's, or at least that's what people think they want. It seems to be doing okay as far as, you know, page views and all that stuff, you know, traffic. So it's like every little thing. So that's what she wanted me to do. And I was like, crazy, you know, I, I, you know, just at that point, I just couldn't fathom it, but that's where we are, and the other thing is, I'm not even considered a reporter anymore, I'm a multi-platform journalist, uh, because we use Twitter, because we use Facebook, because I'm shooting photos, something that I didn't do right off the bat, I didn't go to school for it or anything like that, 
shooting photos, I'm shooting video, and I'm writing. Um, so we're, we're multi-platform journalists. And, it, and if you look at the name of the company, it's Digital First Media. So it's, it's not only the name of the company, it's, it's their mantra, Digital First. Um, we're really transitioning away from newspapers. I think that, um, I mean, we still have the printing presses out on Lobbs Road, where we all work. But um, my prediction, I mean, and, and, you know, I'm not Nostradamus or anything, but you know, it's only the older folks that that really like to have that paper in their hand. You know, and everybody here's got a computer. Um, it's only the older folks, and you know, when when they when they go, there's not going to be a need for the printing presses, and then we'll just we'll just totally go online. I mean, it's, some some places have already made the transition, like the. Science Monitor, I think they. It was like a number of years ago. They said, "We're not. We're not making a paper anymore." And and the Patriot, Patriot uh, is only three days a week. Print. So there's been a lot of changes. Um, oh, one other thing. You should you should read uh, uh, Brave New World if you haven't if you haven't read it. Alice Huxley. He, there's there's a reporter in that. Or there's a number of reporters, and they've got like all their equipment on them. It's like uh, they're almost robotic. Got like kind of like a boom mic kind of coming out of 